Hi, Chuck Etheridge here, coming at you from world headquarters of Shea Etheridge, or I guess it'd be Chateau Etheridge, wouldn't it? I want to talk to you about a need statement. This is what um, we're working on this week. And some people say that the need statement is the heart and soul of a grant application. It's the document that proves that there is a need that the money that you're asking for will help. And what you really need to do is you need to demonstrate the need that exists in your community, talk about how it affects people. And later on we'll talk about then how the program will address the need and things like that. But right now we're working on the need statement. We're talking about, uh, in this case, um, food insecure children. Now, y'all are going to be doing a lot of research, but basically, I've explained this before a little bit, but um, Texas is one of the less affluent states in the Union. Overall, if you look at individual people, there may be great wealth amongst a few people, but um, if you look at the overall median income in Texas, it's significantly lower than the national. And then if you get into the coastal bend, areas like Nuestas County, um, it gets much lower than the median income in Texas. And then if you get to some of the rural counties like um, uh, Brooks County or Kennedy County, some of the counties that the food bank serve, and you will be literally shocked, literally shocked at how low the incomes are there. Uh, what does it have to do with anything? Well, um, our project is targeted toward children, um, and I don't know if you know this or not, but Texas is the second most food insecure state in the United States. Food insecurity means you don't know for sure that you're going to have dinner that night. You don't know for sure where the next meal is going to come from. And that is uh, more common in Texas than any other state in the Union save one. Um, and so basically, uh, what we're going to do, and we're going to be reading Carson Fox, we're going to be reading McElroth, and we're going to be looking for different kinds of information, and you'll get the ideas of where to look from the reading, about demonstrating what the need is. Um, we want to probably look very specifically about hunger and food issues, because of course, a lot of these children that the food bank serves um, the only ready, reliable meal they're going to get is from their school lunch program. So we think of uh, being out of school is great, being off for the weekend is great, but for people whose only regular and reliable meals come from their school lunches, the weekend's a disaster. Long holidays, summer vacations, that's a separate issue, but they're even more disastrous as well. So what backpack programs do is... Um, they identify these food insecure children. Um, they get, it's called a backpack, but it's really um, a sealed Ziploc bag. And they put enough healthy, uh, non-perishable foods, meaning foods that don't have to be refrigerated, in these bags so they can go home with them and the kids can have a reliable meal, reliable meals to feed them through the weekend. A uh, very important program as well. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Probably... To situate it, we need to talk a little bit about uh, hunger, poverty, unemployment, uh, low educational outcomes. And basically, we, what we want to do is we want to paint an accurate um, picture of Nuestas County and the surrounding areas that are served by the food bank. I presume you got those off the food bank website. Um, and get a sense of uh, what the issues are facing these kids. Why do this? Because... Um, there are a lot of good causes. There are a lot of good reasons for charitable foundations to give, but um, this is really important work. I mean, food is a basic human need. I personally think it's a basic human right. Um, and no matter what you think about poverty or why people wind up in poverty, um, children, particularly elementary school age children, are in my personal opinion, innocent victims of poverty. And these are, this is the population we're trying to help. So this week is all about need statements. It's all about proving the problem exists. 
um, important work we're really diving in, turning and burning on the grants. So, full speed ahead. And darn the torpedoes. I was in the Navy, in case you don't know that. Bye.